Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Xian, and today I'm going to go over some of the things that I bought this morning for Black Friday. So, first up, I was at Best Buy and I found this speaker by Insignia. It's Bluetooth that's also got a wired connection. So I picked it up, it was for $8. So if you're looking for a nice, inexpensive Bluetooth speaker, um, I def I'd probably go for this one, just because <coughs> Insignia's never really been like a terrible brand. Uh, it's obviously not going to be comparable to like one of the more expensive ones, but like JBL or Sony or like any of the top notch ones. But I think for most people, what you really need in a portable speaker is pretty much just something that's like easy to carry around and take on trips where there's going to be water, like going out onto the beach or in a boat or going out into the snow or in the desert. So for something like that, I think an $8 speaker from Insignia, something like this is perfect. So if you're looking for a new portable speaker that you can take around, I recommend this one. So this is what it looks like, just fresh out of the box. Uh, it does come with a cable that's actually braided. Oh no, that's just a strap to hold this in place. And there you have it. It is a little bigger than like most travel speakers. It still fits in one hand. All right, so that's pretty interesting. This thing's volume buttons up here are a separate volume dial from the one on your phone. This is not my first time having a device do something like this. Uh, my old workout buds actually used to do the same thing, but I thought we were past this. It is 2021 now, fam. But then again, this thing does charge with a micro USB so maybe that's why it's still got those kinds of issues um, whatever regardless all that means is that on your phone whatever you're playing you want to max out the volume and then control the volume from here or do it the other way keep it maxed over here and then control the volume for your phone that, that's pretty much all you have to do this thing also does not have a pause button on here so if you're playing music on it you you can pause it from the actual speaker which is kind of a nuisance but as a speaker that you'll be taking on the go and you'll probably have it like dangling from your backpack or something, or like just out on the beach, you'll probably be controlling it from your phone anyway, because yeah, there's no way to control tracks, pause play on this thing. You, the only thing you can control here is volume. So I guess just keep volume maxed out, then control volume and everything through your phone or your watch or wherever. Next up, I bought these Skullcandy Indie Evo headphones, not necessarily because I need new headphones, but mainly just so that I have something else to review on the channel. So I guess a full review will be coming on these. They did look like a pretty good deal though, because they're usually around $70, but at Best Buy, they were at 35. And if you buy them on Amazon, they're for $40 right now. You can see on the package, it demonstrates that it's got like a loop going around. That means that it will be pretty easy to use when um, working out and such. And so that's the primary reason I got it is for ease of use when working out because my previous workout buds don't work anymore. Just sad. And I bought those. Those were a knockoffs that I bought from Amazon for like $20. So this is $35. Uh, it is three years later, but being skull candy, it should be reasonably better quality. So let's just take it out. Came with a bunch of user manuals as well as more ear loopies and various size silicon buds. Overall quality doesn't look shabby. The case itself is pretty light. Um, doesn't feel super premium, but it's got like magnets inside. It's entirely plastic, like kind of like my knockoff buds. Uh, but I haven't put the earbuds inside yet. Now oh, this is some nice foam that the earbuds came in. Let's Give this a whirl, which side is left. And I do like the fact that the hook shape design thing that is gonna like the ear hook. It's not really a hook, it's like a loop. It's like a loop hook. So um, yeah, my point is I like the fact that the piece of the design that's gonna keep it securely attached inside my ear easily fits into the case. With AirPods, you have to constantly like carry those separately and then attach them when you take them out of the case. 
and then remove them when you put the AirPods back into the case. So this is nice and convenient that they're just directly on there. And of course, it being like mm, a third of the price of the AirPods is also definitely helping it. Oh, it makes a very tight seal. And it's not that uncomfortable in my ear. Yeah, this, this is definitely worth reviewing. That is pretty tight seal. Oh, damn. Ow. At least from my initial impression, this seems pretty solid. It also charges by USB-C, the thing that everything should be charging on these days. So that's another plus. And finally, the last thing I bought from Best Buy today was this tripod. It was from Sunpack. Um, it was $10. Let's check it out. Ooh. And like my previous Sunpack tripod, or my previous Sunpack tripod isn't a tripod actually, it's a grip pod, so it's a knockoff of the Manfronto like grip system thing. I'm actually not sure where it is lying around, but it is lying around somewhere in my room. Probably actually it's in one of my backpacks from when I took it out. So this is a 58 inch aluminum tripod. Why does it have this grip on it? Does this detach and become a monopod? I don't think so. Yeah, I I'm not sure. I guess maybe just to make it more convenient to hold. Um, it is a very cheap construction. Yeah, less than, it feels like it's got a very plastic and rough edge feel to it. I, this, this, this is already broken. What the heck? What the heck? All right, um, yeah, this is getting returned. <laughs> Yeah, just take a look at that. That's a massive crack. Yeah, if you just take a look at that, you'll notice that that thing is just cracked right down the middle. It should look like this, but this whole thing, but it doesn't. Well, that's, well, that's kind of disappointing, but I'm glad that I opened it up in this video. So I guess don't get this. That was kind of a fail. Maybe I should name this video Black Friday Shopping Fails. This is going straight back. So yeah, that's pretty much what I got today for Black Friday. Uh, there are some other deals that are kind of good, like the Oculus Quest 2. You get $50 back from Amazon and Amazon credit if you buy it from them uh, before the 29th. If you're someone who's trying to start a YouTube channel, there are actually a lot of sales right now going on for like, LED light strips or ring lights. Honestly, those could be a worthwhile investment, especially if you think YouTubing is something that you want to do. Now is probably the time to buy all of the auxiliary tech. Probably not the cameras, they're not really on sale, but there are some reasonable deals. I still think that if you want to get a camera for YouTubing, you should still try and buy one in good condition used, just because you'll save a lot more money that way than you will on a Black Friday sale. But if you find some good deals, of course, don't forget to throw it down in the comment section below. And for now, as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. See you on Monday.